My name is David Bolton. I am a concept artist, worked at 343 Industries, who make Halo. Uh, ArenaNet makes Guild Wars 2, and Glue Mobile makes a variety of mobile games. Throughout my career, I've basically generated prop and environment concepts for video games. The concept artist's job is generally to visualize ideas. You visually problem solve what this thing looks like and what it's used for, just to inspire people about the game. A kit bashing is something I came across on Halo 4, and it was very useful because they have a lot of assets that they've created for the game already, and um, instead of drawing everything from scratch, um, it's a lot easier to use the models that others have made to and cobble them together kind of like Legos. It was just a lot faster than drawing everything from scratch. I was able to mock something up in 3D really fast using what the environment artists have made, paint over it a little bit in Photoshop and show it. It's kind of derived from model kits. Let's say you get like a tank model kit and the Gundam model kit and you want to make a cool tank Gundam. So you take the two kits, you take cool pieces from each, you stick them together, glue them together, paint it if you want, and you have a cool new design that didn't exist before. You can think about it like Lego building. You just grab a bunch of Lego pieces together, put it, um, just try to make something cool out of it. That's essentially what kit bashing is. You can make a lot of versions in 3D because you can scale things and stretch things, rotate things fast. Once you do it and kit bash it together in 3D, you can take it into Photoshop and paint over it and adjust it, draw anything you want on it, change the materials, add lighting, paint whatever. Um, just another form of concept art. Part of the reason I started kit bashing was I noticed when you would send them a brand new hand drawn concept, they wouldn't make that from scratch. They would take pieces they already had that looked like what I drew and make that themselves. So I kind of started doing what they do, put it together into a new concept. So they don't have to do that anymore, they could just use what they've already made. A big one is what it's used for, where it's going to be placed, uh, what the size of it is, uh, who, who in the game world makes the item. Like in Halo there's the humans, the Covenant, and the Forerunner, different species. And they all have their own looks and they use their own materials. And then I start looking at the library I have of model parts that the environment artists have made. And I start to um, choose overall shapes from what I see in the library and push as many big shapes together as possible. You really try to flesh out what it looks like visually because you'll be passing it on to 3D environment artists who will have to then model that, texture it, and then it gets passed down the pipeline even more. If it animates, the animator gets it. When I was kit bashing several things for Halo 5, when I would send them the model, they were able to use that. Sometimes just retexture it, and it's ready to go in the game already. So it saves them time from building something from scratch. I would like to encourage you all, if you're passionate about video games and art, if you do it long enough and you stick with it, it's just going to come around. Um, that's what I've seen in, over my experience, is people who stick with it are the ones who get the jobs. <laughs>